Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, Robert Moraine, and welcome back to What Makes This Dancer Great. On today's episode, we are going to be exploring the dancing of B-Boy Jr. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the show, everybody, and today, you heard it, we're going to be exploring the dancing of B-Boy Jr. on episode 26 of What Makes This Dancer Great. Super stoked, that is, because he is a legend, and to be reviewing this guy is such an honor. I've actually had the pleasure of meeting him when I first came to Paris. He was really the first person to ever introduce me to some of the dance world, like, Bruce, for example, he took me to the Just Debut Boost School. And anyways, I'll talk to, about that a little bit later. But for now, let's get into a little bio. If you guys don't know, for whatever reason, B-Boy Jr. He was born in Zaire, long time ago when Congo was called Zaire. And at the age of two, he contracted polio, which gave him a physical handicap, which he in turn switched around and built the rest of his body around this handicap to do the insane physical feats that he does now. So I've got quite a few different d judge demos sitting here of Junior and uh, let's break down what makes this dancer great. Here's Junior doing a showcase at Dance Fever. This must be like 10 or 15 years ago because he's looking fresh. He's looking like he's in his prime, he's ripped. And you can just tell by what people are wearing in the background. Uh, this must be late 2000s, I guess. Just like... <laughs> I don't even need to comment on this, do I? I mean... What makes them great? Uh... Everything. And excuse the audio quality on this video. Like I said, it's really old. And uh, believe it or not, it's hard to find solo videos of Junior while he's not battling. So, this is quite a long solo. And it features some of Junior's best moves in his prime. Oh man, this video transition is, is the real deal. <laughs> All right, round two. Woo! Oh. <laughs> oh, he held that for so long. Oh man, just... I can watch this man over and over till the end of time and it'll be just as imp just as impressive as the first time I've ever seen it. Just the way he's able to just punch the floor like, uh, you know, let me just punch the freaking floor real quick and then stay there <laughs> for a few seconds. <laughs> oh my gosh, even him just like Messing around is just insane. Little fun fact, uh, his crew wanted Posse in 2001, actually won Battle of the Year, which at the time, and still to this day, is one of the most prestigious b-boy events in the world. And them winning was definitely due to the fact that Junior was present in the crew. Like, what a powerhouse. Look at that, and he's such an entertainer as well. He's not just straight b-boying. He's able to just keep a crowd with him the whole time. It's like a show. In this case, it was a show. This was a showcase, and it's like a freaking long video for a b-boy. 
For B-Boy to be able to showcase that long and keep everyone entertained, that in itself is a feat that makes him such a great dancer and very unique to compare with lots of other B-Boys. So for the second video, I thought we should go into a more recent video. This is 2017, so about three years ago. Still pretty recent, considering that it's a judge showcase just showing Junior without any battling or anything. So let's see what makes this dancer great. In Rio, H2K Battles, 2017. Judge demo. Come on, DJ, drop the beat. <laughs> that throw he does, like whatever that is, like a push-up jump thing. Oh. And I, I, it's, it's just nice to see people do their concepts at such a high level to where they're able to just make it float and look easy and give it air and like add personality to the to the moves instead of it just being a physical thing it's he's playing with the audience as well because he's such a master at his own craft he's just an incredible look how he's able to play with his concept and and turn it into more than just a move he dances with it Really, one of the things that separates Junior from the rest, he's able to dance with his really difficult technique. Really something that separates him from a lot of b-boys and a lot of athletic dancers. He, he has fun while he's dancing. <laughs> so, third video, let's jump right into it. I know these are short, so I apologize for the short episode. It's gonna be a quick one, but hang in there. I got a little behind the scenes story to talk about as well as the elephant in the room, which is coronavirus. So for now, let's see what makes this dancer great. <laughs> Judge Showcase at the Red Bull BC1 2018, so even more recent. Again, just extending those concepts and moves and just milking it. Just works so well for the crowd. I'm guilty of doing that and it's, it's 100% guaranteed. You can milk your moves like that, the crowd loves it. It creates tension. Just, and here, he, man, he's, the stakes are high. You can see he's got his footwork on lock and he's giving it 110%. This is a great solo of his. Footwork is insane, woo! Yes, yes, oh! So much style with his foot position and his leg positioning. <laughs> Effortless. In and out. Damn, damn, damn. Exactly. Damn, damn. In and out in one minute. Junior, B boy, fucking Junior, dude. There's nobody like him. There are people similar. B boy physics comes close. Someone that can extend those really difficult positions and just hold himself in these weird, awkward positions and. Like I said, milk the moves, but Junior just takes it to the next level. He's just able to sit in some of those positions. Yeah, he just makes it look so effortless. He's really one of a kind. So this will be the last video, another judge demo. Let's see what makes this dancer great. Back in the day, 2012, Portugal. He's looking fresh. What an awesome energy, dude. He's such a cool guy in person, too, and so humble and so respectful, and just like, for as famous as he is, oof, and for as talented as he is, he is so humble. <laughs> he's just playing, and he's destroying. <laughs> oh yes! Again, I love that signature going into the crowd. Breaking the barrier between the cipher and the audience. 
He's such a showman and an entertainer. <clears throat> he really understands all of the dynamics outside of technique that make legends legends. Yes, listen to the crowd. Everyone wants to be a part of that energy, man. He just radiates great energy. He hypes everyone up every time he graces his, the circle with his presence. Um, I don't think I need to say any more about Mr. Junior. I did get to spend just a little bit of time with him. I mentioned it a little bit in the beginning of this video that he was the first person to kind of introduce me to the French street dance world. He brought me to Just Debut and introduced me to Bruce and I got to see Frankie again and pretty cool experience. Funny story is my old manager Lorenzo, he was also at the time working as an agent with Junior. So that was the connection. And so when I came to France to do Crazy Horse, which was almost eight years ago now, seven or eight years ago, Lorenzo introduced me to Junior and then Junior took me to Just Debout. So that was really cool. We sparked one up, good memories. And uh, that's it for this episode of What Makes This Dancer Great. Now I've been on tour, was in London and then New York and coronavirus was kind of, everyone wasn't that scared of it about a week ago only in China, right? And then Italy was starting to get bad. I come home, my contract was finished with the box in New York. Came home, like I said, four days ago. And just a day and a half after that, they, Trump said that there's no more incoming flights from outside of the United States that are not American. So that happened right when I got back to Paris. And as you guys know, I'm home right now. So going back to the States wasn't an option anymore because I wouldn't be able to go back with my girlfriend who is French and we are not married. So neither of us have passports to go back to the States or I have a passport, but she doesn't. So I opted to stay here, obviously, because this is home and this is where my baby is and this is where my cat is and my studio and everything and my job and my livelihood. <laughs> So I'm going to remain here in France for the time being. And as you guys know, the situation is getting pretty crazy in France. And if you don't know, it is. They just shut down schools yesterday. They shut down the shops last night, meaning there's no more stores open except for the market. And there's a rumor going around that they're going to start a curfew, meaning no one's going to be able to leave after 6 p.m. We're only going to be allowed to go to markets to get food and I guess for pharmacies and that's all that's going to be open to the public before 6 p.m. and then we all have to be inside that's just a rumor it's just a rumor going on so it's not for sure but that's what we're hearing so everyone's starting to get a little bit paranoid and things are starting to look bleak for the next couple of months so good news for YouTube channel is I'm going to be posting a lot more content because I'm not going to be working because all of my jobs got cancelled for the rest of the foreseeable future. I work in show business and all of the shows that I work in have more than 100 people in the capacity and that is the limit right now for any gathering of, yeah, you can't have gatherings for with more than 100 people. So all the shows I'm in are canceled and that means I have to double down on my YouTube. So if you haven't noticed, just below this video, you'll see that I've opened my merch store and that, that and uh, my YouTube channel revenue will now be my revenue for the foreseeable future. So if you guys want to support my channel, I know a lot of people have been asking me in the last year, how can I support your channel? Well, aside from liking and subscribing my channel, which I'm sure most of you do, and if you don't, please do that right now. Thanks. <laughs> I'm going to be putting out a lot more content like this, so if you're enjoying this, please do subscribe. But you can help out my channel by buying some merch. Um, I do make somewhat of a profit off of all of these items, and 
All of the logos were designed by my friend Monsta, who is a great designer and animator from the UK, and he used to work on all of my Milk projects, which was my old record label. And uh, dude is awesome, and he hit me with some dope logos, and I kind of tried to incorporate them into some t-shirt designs and hoodies and coffee mugs and all kinds of stuff. So if you guys want to support my channel, that is one way you guys can do it. That's all I really got to say for now. I will do another video covering, I guess, the whole show business world and dancing world, coronavirus, the effect that it's had on all of us. I'll just kind of cover that in another video a little bit more in depth. But for now, that's all I got to say. I'm sorry for leaving this video on a kind of a negative vibe, but that's the reality right now, and uh, at least you guys will be seeing more, more videos uh, in the near future. So be safe out there. That's it for today. Until next time, my name's Robert Moraine. Peace.